When you're crafting a survey to gather feedback, you may want to require more detailed responses to some questions than a simple yes or no. But a multiple choice question might not always be the right fit either. This is why ranking questions really comes in handy. We do this in a lot of different ways in public life with voting and it would make sense for us to do it in normal polling situations as well. As the name suggests, ranking questions are a type of multiple choice survey question that allows users to rank their answers in a specific order. And I am gonna show you how to do this exact thing inside of Google Forms. Hi, my name is Dimitri, and I'm excited to show you another tutorial here at JotForm. This type of ranked choice questioning can provide great insights into people's preferences or even reveal the extent of their knowledge about a subject. If you're familiar with creating online quizzes and surveys, then you've probably heard of Google Forms at least once. If you haven't, I'd be shocked. But fortunately for you, we can show you this versatile platform that allows you to create your own ranking questions with a little bit of finessing. By the way, how does a uh, ranking question work exactly? Ranking questions are like multiple choice questions in some cases. In both cases, the survey creator provides all of the answer options, but with a ranking question, there isn't only one correct answer. Researchers often use these questions to understand how people prioritize different attributes or features of a product, service, or concept, and to find patterns and trends in data. For example, a survey may ask customers to rank smartphone features in order of importance so manufacturers can better prioritize them in future product development. So when there is a gap in knowledge and you need to have the answers ranked, this is a great solution, mainly because it gives you that extra context as to preference, not just a finite yes or no as to what someone would pick out of a myriad of multiple choice options. Like I said, there are some really common examples that you'd think of like political polling, as well as customer surveys and feedback of employees. And for you kiddos out there and teachers who would be making the surveys, this could be great for class feedback as well. Can you do a ranking question in Google Forms? The answer is yes. And here's how to add Google Form ranking questions step by step. So first of all, we're gonna go into Google Forms and I'm gonna select a specific uh, template here to make it easy. So I'll grab something like customer feedback. If you've created a new form, you can uh, add a title and description at the top. What I'm gonna do for this is change this. I liked that cover. I actually wanna make it the education end of semester survey. I'm gonna clear out some of these. Say, what are your overall thoughts on the course, material, suggestions for improvements, and name and email are all in there. Then I'm gonna add the rank choice option below. So I'm gonna add a question, and you'll notice that we have multiple choice, check boxes, these type of things. But what we can select is a multiple choice grid, right? So this multiple choice grid can be created from scratch or uh, can be adjusted from a template if you found it to be better. But what I can do here is I can say like which of the following is the most important for you to learn in the next semester ranking from most to least important. And say this is a course on history of the United States. I can put Revolutionary War, Civil War, World War One, and World War Two, And then for you history, buffs out there, the Spanish-American War. And I can put a number one through five on these, to see what people want to learn the most about. All right, so then once you filled all these out, all you have to do is click require a response in each row, okay? And then click the three dots and hit limit to one response per column. So the reason I'm putting this setting is so that it doesn't have them rank the same thing as the same number more than once because that would mess up the entire point of the rank choice. They could just put fives for everything. We're not doing a poll as to their feeling out of one through five. We're doing it ranked. All right, now, so I'm gonna press send since this is ready to go, copy it out and utilize this survey. So let's try it out. It was good. Of course it was. <laughs> Suggestions for improvement? Not much. <laughs> and. And I'll put my name and email address, and then I can fill out the form. So you'll notice here, I have the ability now to rank it. So I'd say uh, Revolutionary Wars, probably five. I, I know the least about that war, I think. 
Civil War, I know the second least, World War One. Actually, you know what? I don't know a lot about the first World War, to be fair. This is my order. I don't I don't need to really learn about World War Two. I need to learn about the Spanish American War. Huh? Maybe I even need to learn about that more than the Revolutionary. Alright, so this is my order. Alright, so I got one selected in each right here. And when I press submit, then on the responses end, I see it with the chart here. And this will give me a better understanding of what people really care about and what is the most primary, like important problems that they need to get solved on their course material next semester. Now, this is awesome that this is able to be the case, but it is a little bit limited. And lucky for you, Jotform has a myriad of more templates that fit what you need and you're able to do things like ranked choice voting. Very easy with a bunch of different templates that are already set up. We actually have things like political surveys and a bunch of other templates that are integrated with a, a lot of tools. Jotform is an absolute amazing alternative to Google Forms. Google Form makes it possible to include ranking questions in any type of survey, but the platform has several limitations. It's more complex to set up in Google Forms than it is in Jotform and it takes more time than really is necessary. There's manual analytics in Google Forms where, as with Jotform, we have better analytics and we can see things better than uh, whatever, whatever, whatever this chart is. I don't, really, I don't really get a lot out of that. If you wanna do the exact same thing in Jotform, you can add our orderable list widget to a form. So let's use a template like a feedback form. Once again, I'll click use template. Then let's add this widget, right? So we have the items right here. So let's just put uh, Revolutionary War, Civil, and every time I press enter, Civil War, World War One, World War Two, Spanish American War. And I just take that same question: Which of the following is the most important for you to learn in the next semester? Ranking them from most to least important. Press Update Widget, and then boom, we're done. I can preview this form and you'll see that it's a lot easier to just move these around in clickable fashion, ranked one through five. Ranking questions are incredibly helpful for teachers, pollsters, and many more people who need to utilize forms. Asking people questions is the way we get answers. Who would have thought? And ranking them is just one step closer to getting the truth of what a lot of people think. So if you're looking to create a ranking question form in the future, please make sure to check us out at jotform.com by clicking the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.